Melissa from Melissa's Creations. I'm pretty washed out, aren't I? Is that better? I still look like I don't have a nose, but <laughs> I guess it's okay for now. Hi, welcome. Oh my gosh, I have not gone live in such, such a long time. That's a little better. I am so excited because today I got my Stampin' Up! box for the second um, occasions and celebration order and I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to share it with you while I get in there and open it up and, and all that good stuff. I also want to go through the occasions catalog and the celebration catalog and so many good things. We're just going to whip through those real quick. You can get your own copy by heading over to my website, melissascreations.com and click on the shop now link. You'll see all of the catalogs that are available right there to download. So we're going to dive right in. I'm going to turn the computer or turn my phone around so you guys can see what I am doing. Let's open this sucker up and see what we've got. Honestly, I don't even really remember what I ordered. So it'll be kind of like a, a surprise for all of us. Yay! Have any of you started your order for the Occasions and Celebration products yet? Ooh. Oh, look at that! It's a box full of goodies, so I'm so excited. Of course, we're going to just dive right in and start with the stamp sets here. Petal Palette. This is a two-part stamp set. Very fun. Those gorgeous flowers. That cute little bird. Honestly, I think I got this set just for that bird. This too, though, I really like this, and I already have a lot of really cool ideas for that stamp there. And then we have some beautiful words and sentiments. Thank you. I just love you from the heart. Best wishes for everything. Congratulations. Life is so much better with you in it. That's so sweet. Some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. That would be perfect for an anniversary card or a wedding card. I can't wait to start playing with this set. There are some really, really cute things on here. So here we have the Petal Pear Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. Now this is actually two embossing folders and they're just thin strips. I love that about this folder. Let me dig in here. That is going to be gorgeous. So there's that and this and these come in a package together. So beautiful. I can't wait to play with those. This is the Thinlets dies, the Petals and More Thinlets dies that coordinate with the Petal Palette stamp sets. So we're going to dive into these guys right now. Ooh, those are beautiful. Okay, so we have the Thinlet here. Beautiful. Another gorgeous piece here and here. We have this piece that coordinates with that embossing folder I just showed you. This label. Can we just talk about that label for a second? If if I wouldn't have you wanted to use any of the other items on here, I would definitely use this label. I love it. And then we have this fun piece here. And these cut out the bird and the flowers and then some more flowers. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> you guys. This is so cool. Here is some organza ribbon in Whisper White. Now this, we used to have a really thick organza ribbon and this one is thinner and it's so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <gasps> what project would you guys use this on? I can see this in tags. I can definitely see it on cards, of course. Um, I could see this as a little gift bag handle. How cute would that be? Oh my gosh. I can't wait to start making some of this stuff, you guys. We might even make a project tonight. Who knows? We might get crazy. I had a lot of caffeine today. I didn't stop drinking coffee until like one o'clock. So <laughs> we're on a ride together. Woo! Petal Passions Embellishments. These are so, so sweet. So sweet and cute. Look at these. Look at how beautiful those are with a little pearl on it. I mean, can we just talk about that for a second? And then these fun little leaves. Oh, yes. Yay. So we've got the little five petal flower and then the little leaf. I think it's just those two. You get a lot in here too. We also have, 
I'll show you those in a second. Oh, of course, you know, I just had to get some uh, Whisper White cardstock. Almost every single order I place has either a pack of white cardstock or it has some um, adhesive in it. I always need to order one replenishment item with my, with my stuff. So, all right, these are some fairly new products. These are our stamp and blend markers. I have not used these yet. I am really excited to use them. I got just two to start and these are in Rich Razzleberry. When you get your markers, you have a choice to get just the dark, just the light, or the pair of them together, a dark and a light. We also have the option to get the entire set. Um, it is not in every single color, but it is in most colors. Um, there's quite a few. I'll have to, it's in the occasions catalog. When we go through, we'll talk about the blends a little bit more, but I'm really excited to dive in and start using these. Now, just like our regular stamp and write markers, there's a, a thick side. So here's the brush tip side and you can tell because it has this thick line here and there's a fine tip side. <laughs> yeah, got it. Which is this side here with the thin line right here. So I am super excited to, oh, hopefully I put, I'm putting that back on right. Ooh, there we go. I am so excited to start using these. I might use these to color in one of those flowers too. All right, I have a couple of the celebration sets right here. I have two to share with you. And with every $50 occasions or regular purchase from the annual catalog, any $50 you spend, you get to choose one free item out of the occasions catalog or the celebration catalog. They introduced this year a new level of rewards. Level one, you get to choose one item for every $50 you spend. But level two offers m another kind of enhanced celebration item that you can earn for free with every $100 you spend. More on that in a little bit. First, these are the gorgeous celebration products for this year. I have two of them. This is lots of lavender. I have already seen so many beautiful cards with this stamp set. I am so excited to play with it. I can't wait. And I honestly think that stamp, these Stampin' Blends in Rich Razzleberry will be so perfect to color in this lavender bunch here. I'm so excited to play with that. Next up in celebration are Party Pandas. Oh, look at it. They are so stinking cute. Now, okay, if you guys know me, and most of you do, I'm not into the cutesy stuff so much, but I, I just had to get these pandas. I think that they are amazing and adorable and it was free. I mean, come on, you guys. These, both of these were free because I bought stuff that I was normally going to buy anyway. So celebration is happening. It is where it's at. It is awesome. We're going to put a project together right now. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to pull up a little bit of inspiration. All right, standard size Whisper White cardstock, eight and a half by 11. We are going to cut this in half to get a standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half. So on the long edge, cut it off at five and a half. And then we're going to rotate and score it at four and a quarter. Boom. And now we are going to grab some basic black cardstock. I have a scrap here, which just so happens to measure four inches by five and a quarter. And I want it to go across the entire width of my card. So I am going to chop off a little bit here. I want it to be two inches thick. So I'm gonna chop this at two inches. Okay, so now that will go across the front. Oh, no, it won't. It's a little smaller. That's okay. We'll make it that size instead. <laughs> On the fly. Um, and then I want a little tiny strip of black going down the left side here. So I'm just going to cut off, let's see, a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to do two of those strips. So two quarter inch strips. Just like that. Oops. Okay. Uh oh I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. 
Okay. And then I just need a scrap of Whisper White. So grab my scrap pieces. That might be enough. I might have to, oh, we'll just use this. All right, get my trimmer out of the way. Bring in my stamp and pierce mat. Now I have this covered in a piece of our grid paper and that will help us when we are stamping with photopolymer stamps. Okay grabbing my bearings here. I'm going to be using basic black and I'm going to get out the leaf and yeah look brand new out of the package. I love brand new red rubber. I'm going to peel the backing off of this guy. Now I don't know about you guys but when I get a brand new stamp set I do not mount the stickers on my rubber. And I don't do it because I find that it doesn't stick as well. And I don't really feel like I need the sticker on it. I think I, I've i just gotten used to using it without the sticker. And it just sticks really well to the acrylic blocks. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to get the bird. And we're going to mount him up. He is so cute. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to open up that black ink, grab this brand new stamp, so clean, beautiful. Sorry you were having some issues, Amy. Um, it might be my connection. I don't know. I was having a few issues a little earlier today, but we will see how it goes. Hopefully I stay strong, stay strong with that connection. All right, so I'm going to ink that up and I'm just going to stamp it randomly all over the background. And I probably need to re-ink my black because I used it a lot today, but I think we'll make it work. So we're just going to do quite a bit all over, partially random, partially on, partially off. A few there, maybe another one coming down this way. And I did do an oopsie, but it's going to get covered up. I'm not too worried about it. And then let's do a little bit right there. Okay, so there's that. We also want to bring in our scrap paper. So this is my scrap piece of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp that leaf again. Okay. While I have this out, I'm going to grab my bird. We're going to stamp him too. Now the card I am making, I just pulled up Pinterest and this card was designed by Lou Kitzelman, I think, L-O-U. If I'm reading, if I'm reading it right, she's from with a with a bow on top by Lou.blogspot.com. So if you like this card, she is the one that I am gaining this inspiration from. So I'm gonna bring in my big shot. All right, I have my magnetic platform. I have a cutting plate. Here's my cardstock with my images. Now I get to use those awesome thinlet dies. So I am using, let's see. Oh, did they cut that one out by hand? They may have cut this out by hand. So we might have to go that direction, but I can do the bird. So. Get the little birdie guy cut out for us real quick. Another cutting plate on top, zip that through. Okay, I'm gonna grab my snips and I'm gonna actually cut this out by hand. Now it might take me a minute to do that, but bear with me because I think this card is gonna be beautiful once we're done. Now we are gonna assemble our card. I have all my pieces here. And actually, you know what? I'm, I'm just really feeling like I need to cut a bigger piece of black. So instead of this four inch piece, I'm gonna do a four and a quarter. 
but first I'm going to cut it at a standard card base. Okay, so I'm cutting this at two inches by four and a quarter. And I think I'm going to be a lot happier, yeah, with that going all the way across like that. All right, I'm going to grab my Fast Fuse and my silicone craft mat because I'm going to put Fast Fuse on these really thin pieces and I don't want to get glue all over my desk. So first things first, I'm going to put some, oh, look at that. Of course, it's been working all day and when I do a live video, it has to go and be empty. Go figure. Um, okay, we're going to switch it up then. I have a, a refill, but it's not handy, so I'm just going to switch over to Snail. It does the job just fine. You know, I am a sucker for black and white, especially when it has some pink on it. So I'm really digging on this set already. Now I am going to kind of measure this out and tear it a little bit. It I didn't have a, a thin enough piece when I was cutting my first pieces, so I just cut two instead. But if you're making this card, I would just do one continuous strip. So five and a half by a quarter inch will get you that full piece. But that's also a good way to use up scraps. All right, now I'm going to grab some of my dimensionals. And I'm gonna pop this black piece up. And again, this is two inches by four and a quarter. Just gonna put one in each corner here. And then since it's so big, one in the middle. So you remember I kind of had my boo-boos earlier? Well, bye-bye boo-boos. I'm just gonna cover them right up. Don't even notice anymore. Okay, now I'm going to get my branch on there. Now again, if you cut closer to the branch, it will probably look a little bit better. Mine is not exactly how Lou's looks on hers. Hers looks so much better. But I'm just kind of giving you a general idea. And you know, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's just, it would look better if it was closer, I think. All right, and then we're going to pop up our little bird. We're just gonna put him peeking out right on the branch right here. Cute. What about pearls? I I can't help myself, you guys. It's like it's like an illness. I <laughs> I, I have to put some bling on it. I don't know. What do you think? Let's just put some on and see see what happens. <laughs> I almost put it there. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Uh, and let's just do one more. We'll do one more down here. That's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Gems would be pretty too. But there are so, so many other things that we can do with that set. I am so excited to play more with that. So I'm not going to bore you guys with a whole bunch of catalog flip throughs. But I do want to show you this suite um, that's in here. Lots of really good stamp sets and colors. So excited for more stuff. Um, where is it? Here, look at that. That's cute. Oh, I could just flip through this all day. Here we go. Petal Passion Suite right here. In this suite, we have the Petal Passion DSP, which is all black and white, which is why this is so beautiful. And actually, you know what? I think they use DSP on here instead of the stamp, but the stamp works too. But there's DSP down here that I'm pretty sure is part of that. Um, stamp set here, again, this label in the framelits, so adorable. And that comes in a bundle, save 10% when you get the stamp set and the thin lits together. Petal Passion Embellishments, beautiful. I think, yeah, you guys, I got everything in the suite except for the paper, which was probably a mistake. I probably should have got it, but you know what? There's always next time. <laughs> super fun, super cute. If you haven't looked through this catalog yet, I highly recommend you do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Head over to melissascreations.com, click on shop now. You can download the catalog there. 
celebration flyer. Let me just show you the tiers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, maybe I need some water. Two tiers. $50 purchase gets you one free item. $100 purchase gets you either two free items or one $100 free item. Now, what I mean by that, there's two icons here. Throughout this whole brochure, it will tell you if it qualifies with a $50 purchase or if it qualifies with a $100 purchase. So if you purchase 100, you get this entire stamp set right here. Happy wishes. So many beautiful stamps on there. I'm dying for that set. It is so adorable. But again, this whole thing is full of amazing products that you can earn for free just by ordering some products out of the catalog. Let me flip you guys around. We'll show our card another time and then we'll say our goodbyes. Yeah, super fun, super cute, little birdie on a little branch. I don't know, Do you, does it need something up here? I, maybe that would make it too busy, I don't know. It's cute though, I love that bird. What was your favorite product? that I showed you guys just now. Did you have a favorite? Or if you've already ordered, what's one of your favorite products that you've already received or that you have on order? So many good things. Petal palette, that's what we use today. Super stinking cute, awesome, adorable. Celebration items, party panda. I can't wait to play with that one. So, talking about black and white, there's my pandas and Lots of lavender, super fun, super cute. I hope you guys had a good time watching this card today. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, guys, thanks so much. Have a great night or day, wherever you are. Bye.